there's a big thing going on here. There's two different energies going on. Let me show you one energy. <laughs> Let me show you just one of them. Here's one energy right here. This is the Gene Rebel channel where you can go read all of these comments from the people I'm talking about. They like to go and they like to leave all these comments here on this guy that look at this stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This is what he does. Whoa, wait up a second here, JJ. I thought you said that you and your posse over there were finished tracking my worthless channel. However, I can see that you're still sniffing around the premises for some reason. This is what he does. This is what he does. Yep. You keep on loitering around, but as it turns out, it seems as though you're still only intrigued with my thumbnails, JJ. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. What's wrong? Why are you so afraid to bite the bait, JJ? I mean, I can see you hovering and circling it with your cursor there, Johnny. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this! But for some reason, you're still just a little too scared to actually bite the bait and open up the video to see what's inside, aren't ya? Well, let me help you out with this one, JJ, because this is a good one here that I see you hovering over. I'm glad you picked it. Let's see, what's it called? Professional Parachutist? That's a question mark right there, JJ. It says, Professional Parachutist. J.J. Kleck gets his ass kicked by a one-legged blind man eating yellow snow. <laughs> Where does he come up with this stuff? Oh, because if he would have clicked on it, I mean, it would have proved out what a huge hypocrite you really are. And I'm sorry if that word hurt your little feeling so bad, but you're a big boy, right? Sometimes the truth hurts. But I'm sure you'll bounce back, J.J. You'll get over it. Because in this very video that you were magically hovering over right there, well, it clearly portrays you physically doing the very thing that you're accusing me of doing, Click. So wouldn't that make you an accuser, JJ? And we all know who the accuser is, now don't we, Johnny? This has been photoshopped. That leg is coming out of the water. Look at the, look at the, the direction of the water. I mean, do you understand where we're at? I just showed you a parachutist magazine with a fake, a fake, a fake, bull, total bullshit picture. That's not even legit. That's not even legit. Hey guys, check it out. I peed my name in the snow. Jeez, Joe. That's normal. But I saw this and I looked at it and I went, wow, there's something very wrong here. I want you to look at this picture. So the guy's got a a prosthetic leg. Look where his other leg is. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. Hey, check it out. Lemon snow. What? Yeah, that stuff's delicious. Lemon snow? You mean it just falls from the sky like that? You bet. One of nature's treats. You gonna have some? Nah, I'm already full. But you should have some before the other kids get to it. L what is it, like Italian ice? Yeah, exactly, like a sorbet. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon! No, it's not. Look at the water. It would make a ripple. There would be a hole in the water in a concentric ripple effect. This has been photoshopped. Watch out where the husky's going. Don't you eat that yellow snow. Watch out where the husky's going. Don't you eat that yellow snow. You bastard! That's why they suppress free speech. That's why they suppress you can't say that you can't speak truth. That's why YouTube took down my last video. This has been photoshopped. That leg is coming out of the water. Look at the... Look at the, the direction of the water. I mean, do you understand where we're at? I just showed you a parachutist magazine with a fake, bull, total bullshit picture. That's not even legit. So I bent down and I reached down and I swooped down and I gathered up a generous moon full of the deadly. The deadly yellow snow from right there where the huskies go. 
Whereupon I proceeded to take that mitten full of the deadly yellow snow crystals and rub it all into his beady little eyes. Watch out where the husky's going, don't you eat that yellow snow. Watch out where the husky's going, don't you eat that yellow snow. <laughs> so who all out there at one point in your life have had somebody walk up to you and give you that ever so helpful advice of don't eat the yellow snow? I know I have, and I'm sure that everybody knows what that saying is referring to as well, don't you? I mean, who hasn't taken a big old scoop of snow from off the ground and start chomping away on it, especially as kids? Now, except for Jesus Christ himself, everything else that gets sent to this earth as being pure and free of stain, like snow, well, it sure doesn't take long for the contaminants to start making their way into the mix to ruin it for everybody else, now does it? The old, don't eat the yellow snow, it's just an old expression that's used to help warn others that they need to be discerning as to exactly what they're about to be digesting into their bodies, and that they have to constantly be on the lookout for all the bad information and all the deceptions that are being tossed around out there. Just like in this case with Jonathan here. Because how many times over the past decade have we been subject to his continuous bragging about how the Lord God made him a professional skydiver? Not just a regular skydiver, it was always a professional skydiver. But after this video today, you might just find yourself in a different camp of thought on this whole professional thing. Because I'm not too sure about that. And I'm just going to make it quick and simple here because I already showed a portion of how Kleck is claiming that that magazine photoshopped this cover picture. You know, the one with the guy's leg supposedly falling off way up in front of him. And of course we have to hear from the professional. And we hear Kleck tell everybody that this cover pic was impossible. And that it could never happen the way that it's being shown. And that it was all photoshopped. I mean, that's a pretty strong accusation that you threw out there, JJ. This has been photoshopped. That leg is coming out of the water. Look at the look at the, the direction of the water. And so what evidence do you have for this, Jonathan? Can you prove it? I mean, it sounds good and all, JJ, and you really try to sell it up, especially since you're a professional and all. But what you failed to tell everybody, Kleck, was the fact that this guy on the cover was doing what's called a blind man landing. You should know all about those, JJ, because in order to be considered as a professional, you need to be qualified in knowing all about this stuff. Right, JJ? And so, as it turns out, Jonathan Kleck lied to everybody once again when he said that the Lord showed him that this magazine cover, that it was all just a big fake job. Because it wasn't. Nope. It was just another one of J.J.'s fantasy stories that he loves to tell. Because what you're seeing on that magazine cover is perfectly normal. And Kleck knows it. And how does Kleck know this? It's because J.J. is supposed to be a professional, right? So if this were true, that would have to mean that Kleck knew that this guy was landing backwards. Yep, he's landing backwards in this picture the whole time, not forwards, JJ. This man was doing what's known as a blind man landing maneuver, which means that he's traveling backwards. And Kleck knows this, and we'll get into that part soon enough. But on a different note, I wanted to take a quick poll. Now, does J.J. make a better Ralphie, or does he make a better Ralphie's mom? You'll see why I'm asking. Enjoy, J.J. Fragile. It must be Italian. Well, I think that says fragile, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, there could, there could be anything in there. Jeez. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Would you look at that? Would you look? What is this? It's a leg. But what is it? Well, you. Do you know what this is? This is a lamp. It was indeed a lamp. Isn't that great? What a great lamp! No. I know just the place for it. 
Right in the middle of our front room window. Ah. 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 All right, test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. Testing, testing. Okay, this hat looks totally stupid, so I'm going to change this. Okay, so I'm going to change this. But doesn't it look like I'm crucified? Yeah. What's leaving the ground? You ready? The discovery! <laughs> you get it? Well, hello again, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? JJ, how you doing? Now, I presume that you all read the title of the video, so I guess it's time for me to either put up or shut up. And I get it. It's like, what does that title even mean, Gene? Jonathan Clack gets his ass kicked by a one-legged blind man? Well, if you'll indulge me with a little bit of your time, I'll show you exactly how it was done and how Jonathan knew about it the whole time. And even though Johnny knows that he's concealing the truth from everybody, he'll never show you his mistakes. So I guess that's what I'm here for. But in order for me to show you what's up, I have to establish two things. Number one would be that I have to be able to identify JJ as an actual professional skydiver. Number two is that we have to be able to prove to everybody that Jonathan Kleck unequivocally knew all about the blind man. Yet JJ completely disregarded the blind man, thinking that nobody would see you. But I seen you, JJ. I seen you. And what I saw was rather disturbing when you get down to the basics of all of this. But I'll lay it all out the best I can, and everybody can make up their own minds. How's that sound? There was one Johnny right here. I was the Johnny that wasn't saved. There's Johnny living in darkness. Johnny Vampire Boy. And then Johnny got saved. This has been Photoshopped. Now Johnny works for the boss, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You can tell this is severely photoshopped. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. It's one heck of a testimony, isn't it? So how long have we all heard this coming from Jonathan Kleck? About how the Lord God purposed him to be a professional skydiver, preordained to fall out of the sky upside down and backwards with fangs on, mind you all for the purposes of being able to expose Satan's hidden language and to be able to reveal to everybody how the enemy secretly communicates with each other. Let's be very clear about everything. I'm a professional skydiver. They wear parachutes. I'm a pro skydiver? Why do you think I had fangs falling out of the sky upside down? You think that's some like coincidence? Jonathan Kleck, you always give a messenger that rings the bell? gathers the church you think it's a coincidence i'm a pro skydiver i'm a pro skydiver but doesn't it look like i'm crucified yeah what's leaving the ground you ready the discovery <laughs> you get it and i'll hand it to you jonathan you definitely do see and point out a lot of weird images images that wouldn't even garner a second glance from somebody who couldn't see what you were describing to begin with but I can see what you're pointing out, JJ. And I can also see the script that you've been following. It does appear that we're at the tipping point, aren't we? But being at this late stage in the game, I've kind of noticed that you've been starting to get a bit antsy. I don't know, maybe wanting to go off script a little bit? Maybe wanting to add a morsel or two of your own personalized Johnny wisdom into the broth? Because it seems that you've been a little premature and one-sided in your total butcher job of the December Parachute magazine cover. And your total lack of any type of consistent proof to back up your accusations. So what I'm going to be showing and explaining to everybody throughout the rest of this video is the fact that you're not being honest with us about your assessment of the cover of that magazine. And I, for one, would like to know why. But you're not going to get away with it this time. Not this time, Jonathan, because it seems as if he blundered this one. You went off script and it showed. And I see things like that and it reminds me of this 
magazine. Right side up, upside down leg. See it? That's photoshopped. It fell on the floor. The Lord shows me this is the inside of the cover. It's Hell, it even got banned from YouTube. You were crying that it was over some free speech issue, but it sure seemed like a rather docile video to me when I watched it. That's why they suppress free speech. That's why they suppress you can't say that you can't speak truth. That's why YouTube took down my last video. Are you sure that it was a free speech issue? Or maybe it was an off script issue? So I'll try to remember to post a link in the description. But either or, it's going to flush itself out, so let's get on with it. We've already established that JJ is a professional skydiver. I'm a pro skydiver? Because that was the initial box that needed to be established and checked off. And why did we have to establish that Jonathan was a professional? Because to be a professional skydiver, it's impossible that he wouldn't have had previous knowledge of what's known as the blind man. brought you to this lowly stage. Please tell us, no matter how it hurts, what did we do? No, I, I can't. Oh, please, no. please. Please? It, it, it was? Yes. Yes. So poisoning. Mom. I told you not to use life, boy. Oh, oh, no, wait. It's not that kind of blind man. It's this kind of blind man. It's a parachute landing maneuver. That's the blind man. That's the blind man I was talking about. I suppose everyone was thinking to themselves, you know, they could see where I was coming from with the one-legged man part of the story but I guess they were totally lost when it comes to wondering how some blind guy was going to squeeze into the picture. Well, there it is. I know it's only a play on words, but if you were willing to wait this long to see who the blind man was, it'll be just as wait-worthy to see what the blind man is. And possibly, we'll find out why Jonathan Kleck acts as if he's totally oblivious to the chance that it could have been a blind man maneuver that was being attempted in that photo. You know, instead of his feet straight in theory that he's been so dogmatic about. Wait, it, it, it's a leg! This has been photoshopped. I fly canopies. You can tell this is severely photoshopped. So if that's truly the case here, JJ, I think I might have a bone to pick with you concerning the video you put out on December 23rd, 2021. And it was titled, This is Obviously a Grand Illusion. Can you see it now? And that's when you pulled out your December 2021 issue of the Parachutist magazine. Then you started to proceed to tear into the cover picture like you were a monkey on a cupcake or something. I'm a pro skydiver. You started slandering the magazine calling it fake and total bullshit. I just showed you a parachutist magazine with a fake, bull, total bullshit picture. That's not even legit. And exactly what did you base that rather straightforward decision on, JJ? I'm a pro skydiver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to string all these instances where Jonathan's describing the cover as being a big photoshopped lie just so Satan himself can make fun of everybody straight to their faces without them knowing it, apparently. So pay attention, everybody, to what he's saying. And you need to listen closely as you're looking at the picture itself. And since he could very well be seen as given somewhat of an expert testimony here, because he's claiming to be a professional skydiver... He's a professional, not just a skydiver, a professional. <laughs> Don't let your guard down. Because Kleck's going to put on a pretty good show for you guys here, and what he's describing could actually sound like the absolute truth. But just keep something in the back of your mind, though, while he's describing this. Johnny's not telling you the absolute truth. And everyone that's done a video, Mr. Gene Ravel, God have mercy on you. You're in deep, deep, deep trouble. Yeah. You couldn't even think this crap up.
There's a couple things that have come up you might not even believe. I'm going to show you one right now. You won't even believe it. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. But I saw this and I looked at it and I went, wow, there's something very wrong here. I want you to look at this picture. So the guy's got a, a prosthetic leg. Look where his other leg is. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. Look at the water. It would make a ripple. There would be a hole in the water and a concentric ripple effect. This has been photoshopped. That leg is coming out of the water. Look at the, look at the, the direction of the water. So anyway, you can tell this is severely photoshopped. Um, a leg, according to physics, physics, your leg can't land in front of you, and you haven't even gotten there yet unless you have some force pushing it like an engine to get it further in front of you and the speed of your canopy. So this is not even possible. So they've done something with it. Leg, look at the water. Look at the water. Are you telling me that's normal? Hell no, that's not normal. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. There would be a, a my, my leg would possibly be on the ground before me, possibly, and there would be a hole with concentric circles going out from the leg hitting, but there wouldn't be water shooting out. That's insane. This is insane. That's a joke. You cannot have your leg land in front of you. It's not even in the right position. Think about it. I mean, it would be, have to be way more over to the left. And it's shooting out. Where is the hole in the water? Where is the hole in the water? There's no hole. There's no concentric circles. And there's that much water shooting out? Oh, no, no, no. This is, this is, this is nonsense. This is the key shot. The president going back and to his left. Shot from the front and right. Totally inconsistent with the shot from the depository. Again, to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. I mean, it would be, have to be way more over to the left. That's why I even made sure that I was professional skydiver with a company called Vampires of Loud Eyewear. I'm a pro skydiver. He made sure every point of purchase had I was upside down. Then he made sure I got to sky surf with the space shuttle discovery in the background when I look like I'm crucified. You couldn't even think this crap up. I saw that. Just your, just your legs fell off. Hi. Don't so cause your leg fell off. Don't so cause your leg fell off. Don't so cause your leg fell off. I want you to look at this picture. So the guy's got a a prosthetic leg. Look where his other leg is. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. You cannot have your leg land in front of you. It's not even in the right position. Think about it. I mean, it would be, have to be way more over to the left. I'm a pro skydiver. I want you to stop whatever you're doing. I want you to look at what I'm putting on your screen. This is a gift from the Lord God. I, do you all understand? that everything the Lord's let me show you is a gift from the King through a servant to you. If you're not ecstatic, then something's wrong. This is the gift of pure, unadulterated knowledge. I have the gift of knowledge, folks, the gift of wisdom, the gift of miracles, the gift of healing. I speak in tongues. I do all that stuff. Wow. That's some impressive reasoning that you were using there, JJ. Almost perfect, I'd say. All except for that one little fact that you continuously turn a blind eye to. Why is that, JJ? Are you actually going to sit there and tell us that you're not aware of what a blind man landing maneuver is? And you're supposed to be a professional. So let me pull up a good example, and I'll let you throw your expert testimony back out there. And we'll see if anything sticks. 
Look at the water. Are you telling me that's normal? Hell no, that's not normal. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me, shooting out of the water. Don't slow cause your leg fell off. No big deal. Don't you have to have certain criteria requirements that need to be filled before you can claim to be a professional? I'm a pro skydiver. For instance, you'd have to have extensive knowledge in all the techniques and maneuvers that would go into being able to honestly make that claim. Right, JJ? So these, as I'm sure you're already aware of, are all the names for the landing techniques that are used throughout these competitions. And they're all based on a degree of difficulty as to how they're scored on a point scale. But there's a lot of different names in there, like the cowboy and the superman. You got the switchblade. But the main one that we want to be focusing in on right now is what's known as the blind man. And here's the description. The blind man. The pilot twists the entire body 180 degrees in the harness from the direction of flight while dragging the surface with at least one foot. And when you look over in the details under body rotation, it says the body should rotate a full 180 degrees from the direction of flight. So there you have it. This guy was traveling backwards, not forwards. But reading the descriptions and looking at stick figures just don't cut it when you can have somebody else doing it for you. So here's a clip of some landings where we have an announcer announcing what maneuvers they were using when they landed. But the one that I want Jonathan to fess up in knowing is what's known as the blind man. A crowd side yeah. then a wing over, then a look away, then a Superman, then a... Cowboy, drag on the water, it's looking good for Christian Wagner. Do a cowboy, drag that hand on the water. He's got it. He's out clean. Both hands, toggle. Oh, it's down to Michael, 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 Michael. Here he comes. Sink jockey. Get it out, get it out. For the blind man. You'll see the on the dock last minute. Get his feet on the water. In his knees. He needs to make it to his own now. He needs to make it to his own now. And correction. This is gone for a walnut switchblade. See the blind man. For blind man. And a world. And he gets out for all of you. Taking time. There's the blind man. If you've been back, oh Lord, I bet you have. And you've not been here by flying legs. Lay it out, Han. Lay it out, Han. Lay it out, Han. Shut your eyes. Again, I have the ability to see it. It's not natural. It's supernatural. It's a gift. This has been photoshopped. That leg is coming out of the water. Look at the look at the, the direction of the water. So anyway, you can tell this is severely photoshopped. This is one of my gifts. Let me ask you a question, Jonathan. And it's a pretty simple question at that. And that would be do you know what a blind man canopy landing maneuver is? And that's a yes or no answer, JJ. Do you know what a blind man canopy landing maneuver is? Because this is a pivotal point right here. Because what Jonathan didn't happen to mention is, this guy landing on the cover right here, he's doing what's known as a blind man canopy landing maneuver. 
And what exactly does that mean to us, you might ask? Well, that means that this man is landing in the water backwards, and not forwards like Kleck insists. Kleck is being emphatic that the guy that's landing here is landing from left to right. But for some reason, the magazine wanted it to look like his leg was shot out of the water, so it would appear that it reached the water first, with his leg being projected from his body somehow. And you're right, Kleck. It does look photoshopped. I mean, that is, if you're going to keep on insisting that what really happened somehow didn't happen. Because what we're seeing here is a prosthetic limb that's trailing the parachutist. It's not preceding him, Jonathan. That's a bunch of crap, and you know it. The parachutist limb is trailing him. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. His leg is trailing him. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. His leg is trailing him. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. Jonathan, why didn't you tell us that the guy was headed in the opposite direction? Isn't that important? Now doesn't the sheer fact that we now know that this guy's going the completely opposite direction, doesn't that throw a big monkey wrench into every formula or mathematical equation that you were producing in that pointy little head of yours? <laughs> And I still don't see how you can say that it's impossible for a leg to land in front of you like that when we just seen it with our own eyes. I understand that you land parachutes, Jonathan, and that you do say your leg can't do that. And in most cases, I could probably agree with you, but not in this case, though. All the evidence lines up perfectly with this cover if you would only admit that he's not plunging into the water feet first here. You keep saying how impossible it is to have your leg shooting out in front of you like that. And again, JJ, I could agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. And yes, it would be impossible for a leg to land out in front of the parachutist like Jonathan is saying, but absolutely not in this instance, because that's not what happened here. Jonathan says to look at the water, and that there wouldn't be big splashes like we're seen on the cover. And again, JJ, if the story you were telling was true, you would be right. Those big splashes way up in front of them, they do look out of place. But when you look at the truth of the matter, those splashes, they make total sense. Something had to cause those splashes, right? Jonathan's claim makes no sense, because in his version of the story, this would have been the initial contact with the water after it was shot off the end of his leg. So what would have caused the splashes up ahead? You can clearly tell that something has caused those splashes in the picture, but if it wasn't from the leg, JJ, then what would it have been from? Aren't you supposed to be the turn stuff around the opposite way guy? And I'm the guy that the Lord God used to resolve the whole thing. Why aren't you doing it here, Johnny? Because when we do, and we know that he's traveling backwards, we can clearly understand that one of his legs made contact with the water just moments earlier, as per the description of the maneuver, and that's what's projecting those splashes from right to left. It's because the leg is trailing him. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. His leg is trailing him. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. His leg is trailing him. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. Yes, Johnny. It isn't possible for somebody's leg to be projected to the landing spot. At least not naturally anyway. But it's not impossible for a prosthetic leg to get torn off somebody during the blind man maneuver either. Where we would see the forces of nature take over and that leg would continue to follow the direction of the parachutist. And it would follow him clear up until another outside force acted on it. And that's what would slow the momentum down enough to stop it. Wow! Then something happened that Hugh says has never happened to him in all his years of climbing. Uh. One of Hugh's legs fell off. Oh no no no! This is this is this is nonsense. I fly canopies. 
You can tell this is severely photoshopped. And like I said earlier, no, this isn't the guy from the cover picture of the magazine. But without having the actual video footage of his jump, this is about the most realistic replacement that I could find where I could easily counter every one of Kleck's arguments over not only which direction he's landing in, but we can now clearly see that it was his prosthetic leg trailing him, and it wasn't his prosthetic limb somehow being shot off the end of his leg either. Like Kleck says, his leg was trailing him. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. I can't emphasize that enough. This guy is going backwards when his leg fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably just a coincidence. I think I might have to stop this one midstream. Because if you don't slow down what Jonathan's saying, you won't actually understand what he's saying or doing. And this is another perfect example right here. Listen to this part of his argument again. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. He said, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. I... My leg doesn't land in front of me, shooting out of the water. What does that even mean, Jonathan? If this is part of your defense, what does that even mean? That's two different actions that you just described. The first one is where you said that the prosthetic wouldn't land in front of you. But then you threw a second action in there for some reason. You said, shooting out of the water. That doesn't make sense. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. So Jonathan, are you saying that the magazine tried to make it look like both things happened at the same time? Like some weird baton race where once the lower leg gets shot off and it hits the water, they have to do a real quick turnaround in order to get that second shot off with any type of accuracy. I mean, I don't know, JJ. That all sounds kind of far-fetched to me. Especially now that we know that you weren't being honest in your coverage, Johnny. Now that we know this guy is headed right to left. Now that we know that he's going the opposite direction that you told us. And now, when we go back over the video I was using, you can plainly see that it's the back of his body that's approaching us, not his face. It's the back of his head. And yet again, we can see that big X that's formed by the canopy leads. It's staring us right in the face, and it's screaming out that this is a blind man landing. <coughs> but like I keep pointing out here, this big X formed by crossing his leads, this is a sure indicator that this guy's direction of travel, it isn't what Kleck's trying to get you to believe. He's going completely the opposite direction. You cannot argue with what the Lord brings through me to you. Otherwise, you're a lunatic. Otherwise, you're a lunatic. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. That's a big fat deception, Johnny. And I know it isn't a prosthetic leg here, but this guy losing his shoe can't get any closer to what actually happened that day. There you go, if the shoe fits. And we can see that it's perfectly possible for things to skip along the surface of the water, JJ. Not everything is going to consist of a perfect trajectory dive, where all you're going to hear is a tiny little kerplunk, and then a few pretty ripples are going to come out of the center of it. Look at the water. It would make a ripple. There would be a hole in the water and a concentric ripple effect. This has been photoshopped. And even though some of these parachutists are coming down in speeds that could reach in excess of 100 miles an hour, for some reason Jonathan thinks we should be picturing this like it's some type of serene scene on a pond somewhere. But it isn't, JJ. So you're not going to be seeing all those purdy concentric rings you've been telling us about. Yeah, where did that leg go? 
Actually, I'd like for you to show us some of these circle rings that you say we should be seeing. But I guess I'll have to wait on that one too, won't I? And you still haven't told us why you never said that this guy was going backwards in the first place. How many decades have you been parachuting, Jonathan? I'm a pro skydiver. Are you telling us that we're supposed to believe that you're some preordained fallen angel with all these superpowers? Skydiving was kind of your foot in the door on this whole gig, so to speak. But then for the Lord God to have never taught you how to spot one kind of a blind man landing maneuver? The Lord God made you a professional skydiver, JJ, so you'd have to know that. Well, not just a skydiver, a professional. I'm a pro skydiver. Now, there's something kind of special that goes along with the blind man maneuver. And that would be that the blind man is the only maneuver where you're literally crossing your canopy leads over top of one another. And it's going to make a big X when they pull it off. Every other land in, when they're making their approach, their arms are stretched outwards. I mean, I would have thought for sure Johnny Boy would have picked up on those two aspects of the landing parachutes. Then, of course, he'd be formulating some XY chromosome comparison theory. X chromosome. There you go. Right here. Look at this. Okay. Like right here? There you go. Okay, I'll grab this one right here. Shove this up in here. There you go. You see that? You see the X right under the serpent? <laughs> the real X games. <laughs> this is so crazy. All while he's telling everybody that it was the Lord God who just delivered us that revelation. JJ was just the messenger boy, mind ya. I still find it hard to understand how Jonathan can sit there and plainly tell everybody that it's the Holy Spirit that's moving him into all these image revelations, and that what he's showing us is supposedly coming directly from the Lord God. <laughs> so I want y'all to understand, when the Lord sends me with information, I, I don't, people, if you think I research stuff, no. Everything I'm giving you is a revelation, like John the Revelator. The Lord gives me the data. He reveals it. But since we already know the history, we know for sure that the parachutist that's landing here on the right was doing a blind man maneuver. That's what he was doing when this still frame was taken. We all seen it, right? Right, JJ? You saw it. So let's try a new mind trick I just invented. I want everybody to focus in on the guy on the right that we already know is heading backwards. And again, we can determine that by his parachute leads being crossed. But now I want you to focus in on the guy while you're hearing Jonathan try to explain to everybody about how bad this cover was photoshopped. And after he's done making his observations, I want you to ask yourself if you honestly feel the true Father in Heaven needed to go through all the marigamarrow of having JJ slander that magazine by outright accusations of deception. Well, not just a skydiver, a professional. But I saw this and I looked at it and I went, wow, there's something very wrong here. I want you to look at this picture. So the guy's got a, a prosthetic leg. Look where his other leg is. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. Look at the water. It would make a ripple. There would be a hole in the water and a concentric ripple effect. This has been photoshopped. That leg is coming out of the water. Look at the, look at the, the direction of the water. So anyway, you can tell this is severely photoshopped. Um, a leg, according to physics, physics, your leg can't land in front of you and you haven't even gotten there yet unless you have some force pushing it like an engine to get it further in front of you and the speed of your canopy. So this is not even possible. So they've done something. That leg, look at the water. Look at the water. Are you telling me that's normal? Hell no, that's not normal. I fly canopies. If, if I had a prosthetic leg and I'm landing, my leg doesn't land in front of me shooting out of the water. There would be a, a my, my leg would possibly be on the ground before me, possibly, and there would be a hole with concentric circles going out from the leg hitting, but there wouldn't be water shooting out. That's insane. This is insane. You couldn't even think this crap up. See how Jonathan's expert testimony really doesn't hold much water when you compare it to an actual event? 
Now, what if the picture of the other parachutist losing his shoe was the picture that they chose to use on the cover? Would Jonathan be out there saying that that's impossible for that to have happened? Total bullshit picture. That's not even legit. And even though we know exactly what happened, and we just seen that man get his shoes ripped off his feet with our own eyes, we still have Kleck's interpretation to deal with. Jonathan is saying that he's a professional skydiver, so what he says is basically what goes. And if anyone wants to argue with me, just go to some other channel. Uh, you're wrong. I'm correct. <laughs> and he's saying that it's impossible for that guy's shoe to shoot off his feet and land up ahead of him. And all that water. Oh my lord, where did all that water come from? And not leave any concentric circles behind? No, no, no. This is totally fake. This is total bullshit. Once again, that expert testimony sure doesn't carry the same weight once you know the actual truth behind the picture. Now does it, JJ? Or do you get the feeling that Jonathan might have seen a Parachutist magazine cover, you know, that may have appeared somewhat sensationalized, maybe because of its dramatization value, I don't know. So where I would agree with Click, I would say that the cover, more than likely, has been touched up. But that's touched up, mind you. That's not the type of Photoshop that Jonathan Kleck is accusing this magazine of. I'm talking touched up, like a professional school graduation photographer would do, or a glamour magazine. They'll touch it up by taking out some of the imperfections, and possibly focusing more on other areas for clarity. But that in no way is the type of Photoshop Kleck's accusing them of. Because what Kleck's basically telling everybody is that this event never took place. He's telling everybody that this whole cover photo is nothing but a lie. It never happened. I just showed you a parachutist magazine with a fake, bu total bullshit picture. That's not even legit. For it to have actually happened, you'd need a couple witnesses, right? And with a competition of that size, with all those people that were there, you should be able to find at least one person that could back up what you're saying, Jonathan. But you won't be able to provide one. Not a single witness that was there. You know, the people that actually witnessed what happened that day? You could never provide that, could you, JJ? I, and if anyone wants to argue with me, just go to some other channel. Uh, you're wrong. I'm correct. <laughs> And you know that out of all those people that were there in attendance that day, when they got their monthly subscription of the Parachute magazine in the mail, and they looked at the cover, how many of them honestly stood there dumbfounded at the picture while they were telling themselves, that wasn't what happened. I was there. His leg never fell off. Nobody, JJ. Nobody ever said that. You're the only one. I'm a pro skydiver. But what are we going to do in instances like this one, Johnny? Who shall we say got it wrong? Jonathan Vargo Kleck or the Lord God? You actually insist that it's the Lord God showing you and directing everything you're doing? And I bet you're going to end up trying to throw Yahweh under the bus anyhow, aren't you, Johnny? So anyway, I'm like just a walking, talking, overflowing, you know, born again data bank of knowledge. And all because of your cockiness in assuming that nobody will ever check up on what's coming out of your lips. The fruit is ripe. Looks like it's time for the harvest, doesn't it? I may not be a smart man, JJ, but even I know what direction that man is going in. You cannot argue with what the Lord brings through me to you. Otherwise, you're a lunatic. The only fruits that you offered that day were spoiled at best. Otherwise, you're a lunatic. They weren't from the true Father in Heaven, JJ. That's for sure. And you can't tell me any different. I mean, go take another listen to that video. All he did was end up slandering everybody who works for the magazine. As well as all the competitors and the judges. I mean, that sure sounds like the spirit of accusations at work, Jonathan. Doesn't sound like the Holy Spirit to me. Try and give you an exact, precise definition. <laughs> Vargo. Liable.
This is libel. This is defamation, character assassination. I mean, do you understand where we're at? I just showed you a parachutist magazine with a fake, bull, total bullshit picture. That's not even legit. Malign slander. Give someone a bad name. You know, I don't, I don't go out and slander people. You know, total bullshit picture. That's not even legit. Bearing false witness is a sin. Can you believe I look? I'm showing you a parachutist magazine with a photoshopped right side up, upside down leg. See it? That's Photoshop. Bearing false witness is a sin. That leg is shooting up out of the water. You know why? They're making a point. It's the right side up, upside down system. Bearing false witness is a sin. So you've seen that magazine cover and then off to the races in order to start bashing and slandering all those people. You know, you don't even know those people, Cleck. And what's so much worse is the fact that you're saying that it's the Father in Heaven giving you all this bogus information. Okay, everything I'm showing you is by the power of the Holy Spirit. So if I'm showing you images and you're like, oh no, that's not, a, that's not that at all, you better check yourself because everything that I'm showing you is a gift of the Holy Spirit. It's so if I'm showing you images and you're like, oh no, that's not, a, that's not that at all, you better check yourself because everything that I'm showing you is a gift of the Holy Spirit. I don't know what kind of deal you got cooked up, JJ. But something isn't smelling too good here. And everyone that's done a video, Mr. Gene Ravel, God have mercy on you. You're in deep, deep, deep trouble. Now you see how when these blind man maneuvers are done, how the backside of the person is coming towards you, and there's a big crossover X formed up on the leads, just like we're seeing in this picture. Everything makes sense now when you realize which way the guy's traveling, doesn't it? We all just witnessed this guy facing us when he first hit the water, but then he went into his blind man maneuver and started his 180 degree rotation. And that's when he lost his shoe and we seen it shooting up out of the water. Now this is the exact same thing that happened to the guy with the prosthetic leg. When he made his rotation, that's when his leg fell off. So the guy's got a, a prosthetic leg. Look where his other leg is. It's landing in front of him. That's impossible. I, I, I land parachutes. Your leg can't land in front of you. Anything starting to look familiar here? Uh, and if anyone wants to argue with me, just go to some other channel. Uh, you're wrong. I'm correct. <laughs> I'll just be blunt. So let me get this straight then, JJ. Is this photo photoshopped as well? There's no water being disturbed on this side of the picture. It's all splashing up in front of that guy. No, wait. That would be impossible. I mean, I pretend to land canopies, and that's completely photoshopped. I can tell. And it's shooting out? Where is the hole in the water? Where is the hole in the water? There's no hole, there's no concentric circles. And there's that much water shooting out? Oh no, 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 this is, this is, this is nonsense. I mean, that's totally ridiculous. That shoe isn't just gonna shoot off the end of his foot like that and then hit the water before he even gets there. That's totally impossible. And where are all the concentric rings at? All the physics point directly to this picture being massively Photoshop. Yep or doodle, it's Photoshopped. The Holy Spirit showed me. It's amazing, isn't it? For Jonathan to be able to point out how impossible it is for all of those things in the left picture to be occurring. But then, sitting right next to it is a perfect example of what I'm saying is more than likely what happened that day. And if his reasoning out trumps all of my physical evidence, just because you feel that it actually was the true Father in Heaven giving him that revelation, you know, I wish you well. But honestly, people, when you get down to the brass tacks of it, how can Kleck even consider trying to get away with saying how impossible everything is, even though I can clearly demonstrate that it is possible, and more than likely was how it happened that day? But I'll never know for sure either. And you want to know why? 
It's because just like JJ, I wasn't there. I have something to say. My leg fell off. <laughs> I can barely walk. <laughs> this has been photoshopped. I fly canopies. You can tell this is severely photoshopped. And once you realize that the items can skip along the surface of the water when the trajectory and speed line up. That they would photoshop some guy's leg shooting out of the water. Look at that. That's a joke. This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. Another advance in the accuracy of Allied bombing. Skip bombing for low-level attacks. In ordinary bombing, you have to drop it right on the bullseye. But if the skip bomb's on the line, it's bound to stop when it gets to the right place. This is practice, but it has been used in action in the Pacific. And there you go. I mean, that's picture-perfect evidence right there. It's completely demonstrating that if something's going at the right speed and it hits the water at a certain degree, chances are that it's going to remain on course until it skips to where it needs to go. I mean, how lucky was I to have even found that old footage? Look at how real this looks. Yet again, proving out that you just can't make this stuff up. But I'm sure the Lord had Johnny Boy seeing this skip bomb test completely different. That leg is not falling in the water unless they totally defy the laws of physics. And somehow his leg's shooting out of the water instead of making a dent concentric circles. And it's shooting out? Where is the hole in the water? Where is the hole in the water? There's no hole. There's no concentric circles. And there's that much water shooting out? Oh, no, no, no. This is, this, this is nonsense. Total nonsense. You can tell this is severely photoshopped. There wouldn't be water shooting out. That's insane. This is insane. But they would photoshop some guy's leg shooting out of water. Look at that. That's a joke. So why don't you face the facts, Johnny? You just got your ass kicked by a one-legged blind man. At least figuratively. I mean, that's got to at least sting a little bit. What were you thinking, JJ?